I think this is the biggest mystery in the Zetsuba Noshima trailer for what the hell is this? I do not know. Some people are saying it's a freaking puffer fish, it's a grenade, it's a hairy testicle. I don't know what this is. No one really does, but we can have some awesome theories behind it because it looks very, very interesting. What do I think? We'll talk about in a second. As always, if you do enjoy the video, a like rating would be appreciated. Anyway, let's delve into this. Let's try and find out what this weird hairy testicle thing is in Zetsuba Noshima. So you see, as soon as I believe this is Dempsey, shoots these weapons, he kills a zombie. As usual, the zombie drops a drop. We see on the right there is a death machine, which is fine. We've all seen a death machine before. But there is also another drop from the zombie on the left. What the hell this is, we don't know. But we this is new, right? This is something we haven't seen before. Now, we have a couple of things I want to talk about. A couple of theories on what this could be. And stuff that people are actually making this out to be. Firstly, we need to decide what this actually is. Now, in zombies, we see two different coloured drops. We have the green ones, which would be for power-ups like max ammo, double points, insta-kill, and stuff like that. But then we have the blue glowing ones for the death machine. We have the spiders that are dropped when you have Widow's Wine. And we also have the tram fuse in Dirt, Eyes and Dracker. And now we have this new one within Zetsuba Noshima. I must admit, and a lot of people have said this, and for me, this does make sense. The outside of it, the overall body looks like a puffer fish. The colour of it, the skin colour, yellow. We have the spikes, which a puffer fish would have. It's all blown out. It does look like a puffer fish, which is usually a creature that would represent air inside of you or just, you know, being able to hold your breath. Because we now know we have swimming in Zetsuba no Shima, this could be a possible drop that you can pick up which will allow you to swim underwater. Maybe as soon as you pick it up, you have a timer, maybe for a minute, where you're allowed to go underwater and breathe for as long as you want. Or maybe it's something that you pick up and as soon as you go underwater, a timer then comes on for when this runs out and you can no longer breathe underwater. Maybe it works like that. I think it's more like Widow's Wine, where there actually is a perk in this map to do with swimming underwater that you can purchase. Maybe this perk will allow you to hold your breath for longer, maybe make you swim faster underwater, or have some special underwater ability, but just like Widow's Wine, that perk will soon start to wear out and will no longer be active. And in order to keep that perk working and keep going and keep using it, just like Widow's Wine when you pick up the spiders, in order to keep using this underwater perk, you have to pick up these puffer fishes that these spiders drop. And maybe if you don't pick one up soon enough, this perk will no longer work. So I think it definitely could work like that. And it really does look like, and it actually does make sense since we now know we have swimming within this map. So yes, this could be a new drop for a new perk that we are having in this map. So something to do with breathing underwater. People have also said, what if this is a part to something we are able to build again? That is a possibility. This definitely could be a part to a new buildable that we're having in this map. So far, I haven't seen any buildable tables or anything like that. But from the way things have gone now for a very long time, we can guess buildables are coming back in this map. And this very much could be a part that the zombie has dropped that you need for a buildable weapon or some type of equipment within Zetsuba no Shima. Again, in De Eyes of Draco, we had the tram fuses. The zombies drop tram fuses that would, as it says, allow allow you to call a tram. Maybe whatever this is will allow you to activate something in Zetsuba no Shima. Maybe it will allow you to activate the zipline or call something to you. Maybe a rail cart or something else. We really don't know. It's just a couple of ideas and uh, theories that are actually going around the community right now because this is definitely mysterious and it does look weird. Could it be a new type of a grenade? A new weapon that we can pick up and use? It really could be anything but... I definitely think the perk one actually makes sense. And then to refill its special ability, just like with Widow's Wine, you pick up the spiders and that will refill your sticky spider grenades or whatever you want to call them. Just like Widow's Wine, you purchase the perk and then to refill its special ability, whatever that is, maybe it's some type of grenade that you can use underwater or whatever it is, to refill that special ability of that perk, you pick up these puffer fish or whatever this drop we are seeing is. It's also being said that this could be a plant seed. Now, this makes sense because we know we have element 115 infused plants within Zetsuba no Shima that have been confined by Division 9. It could be possible that we have to feed these plants so in return they will do something for us. Maybe attack the zombies that act as like a trap. So give them this seed. This will turn them on. This will make them alert to actually eat the zombies. It could possibly be a seed that we have to feed them. In fact, if you take a look at the top of this, you will notice the top of it. It looks like a green leaf with something red on the inside. Now, this looks similar to this 115 infused plant we see a bit later on in the trailer. It looks the same as the top of it, where we see this part actually coming out of the plant. That looks the same as what is on the top of this seed. That's if, if it is a seed. But yeah, if it is a seed, maybe we have to feed it to the plants. 
and in return they will do something for us like attack the zombies or maybe even give you some let me know what you think in the comments section below i'm gonna leave it on that guys hopefully that's helped to clear up a couple of things so we can actually get some awesome comments in this comment section of this video and actually get something proper and stone solid behind this because oh yeah i don't i don't i don't know I, I, i'm sorry I love you all. I do love you all though. Thank you for watching. Drop a like rating. And uh, if you drop a like rating, I'm going to give you, I'll give you a, a million dollars, a small loan of a million dollars. I'll also try and reply to you all in the comment section. So make sure you leave all your comments and anything you want to put down there. Hit that subscribe button for more zombies videos. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.